Do you think that climate change is a reality? How many ways can we look at the issues in the context of the history of the Earth? And right now, all that we're seeing is totally out of context. It's in the context of one interglacial that has been around for, for uh, 12 to 20,000 years. And of course, when you look at the longer history, you end up with having cons some consternation because it doesn't seem to fit the picture mm -hmm. that, that the short-term view fits. Are, are you one of those deniers? Well, somebody today said, well, are you a denier? And I said, I'm neither. I said, I'm going to tell you the facts that we know from the rocks. And you can question me about those facts. I can take you and put your hand on the rock. It's there. You can't, you can't deny that. I said, then I say to you, all right, given what we know, what are the implications? for the concerns we have today. I, I said, you can call me what you want, I, but I can tell you one thing, you've got the truth about the rocks. Mm -hmm. Now, I, with that truth, how do you as an individual deal with it? You know, people are making pretty wild predictions about what climate change might do to us. And do you think that they have any basis for those predictions? Most people don't know what they mean by climate change. If you ask them, what do you mean by climate change, they can't tell you. It's, it's a very complex topic. And very quickly, for someone like myself, we very quickly get beyond the limits of knowledge of the individual we're trying to explain it to. And once you've gone beyond their limits of knowledge, then, then it's information overload and they can't really um, digest because they're, they're trying to digest what you have, but they're trying to think of the consequences at the same time, and it's a big jumble in their brain. We have a number of video clips that we recorded with Dr. Harper. Join us again for Climate Conversations. <laughs>